Yo, what's up, guys? It's Dan Ross here. Um, so Peak just dropped like a couple of days ago. I didn't play Sonic Rush at all yet. I mean, like 3D. I've played Rush. I actually have the copy. I'm gonna just yeah, I have the cartridge right here. Um, I have some strong opinions about this game. I'm not sure when I like do a video on it. But, but like it's been like the bane of my existence like rush has been a game but um we have peak to play so let's get into it so like <laughs> there's a lot to say about rush and um even though i i think it's like the worst 3d boost game well 2.5d or 2d boost game me personally, I couldn't stand it. Um, I bought it online because I seen a pretty good sale and I was like, I want to play it because I remember playing it as a kid and um, I want to play it again. Hold on. Hearing a little bit of myself. That, that was getting annoying. Uh, but let's go. So what I noticed from this is like um, it kind of has a feel of um, Unleashed or I wouldn't say colors, but then again, they would feel sort of similar. But the feeling of Unleashed, like playing that boost game is something I find to be like the superior boost game style when it's in fully 3D. So getting this rush like this is kind of crazy. I should turn off the, um, the goddamn guides. Oh my goodness. And the visuals is so clean. Oh gosh, I missed. I'm screwed. Oh. Ah, it's because it was a wall. So basically, it basically kind of detected it like Sonic uh, being on a different axis. Uh, come on. There we go. And then you get the drift. It's like, oh my gosh, it's everything I want in a modern Sonic game. Just give it back to me. Give us peak. Now, um, I noticed that when you play the game, when you play Sonic Rush 3D, you have different uh, buttons that you can control, and they do various different things. So, if I do tricks and I press, I think it's LT, Sonic will uh, do an extra high jump, and then you can press RT, and you can do a, a launch, which Sonic kind of like launches himself forward. Is it really long goal? I'm pretty sure those options are also in Sonic Rush. I'm not sure about the other option where it launches you upwards. I don't remember actually doing that in the game. I know you have special actions in the game where you have the 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 forward kick. That's what Sonic has, and then Blaze had like the hover. So, oh my goodness! Another thing that they have in here are like cutscenes, like miniature cutscenes. And I think that's what makes this very, very charming. Uh, these little cutscenes that play through the stage. I think a lot of these things should be put into Sonic games. I mean, we're seeing that for like Sonic X Shadow Gens, where Shadow has cinematic uh, set pieces. And I think those are fine too, but just little small, small things in the middle of the stage so it can have some rememberability. It'll help for replayability as well because then it would be something that you would look back onto when you play the game. <laughs> but for me, when playing, oh god damn it, I'm playing like an ass. Me playing Rush. I'm not saying I can't remember that many stages. There's just stages I'm not really drawn to that much. But in the scope of how this is done for you no know, Sonic Rush 3D, oh my goodness. I'm probably gonna give the stage like a second like playthrough because like I'm not playing at the best of my ability. Oh my goodness. Trick, trick, trick. Alright. Woo. Right there. What I will say is that um I do like the soundtrack of Rush, regardless of my opinions of the game at first. 
I think my main issue is probably the level design for Rush. It's not all bad, but biggest issue is um not only is the level design for later stages kind of like egregious when you first start playing, bosses seem very, very unfair. It could just be a skill issue on me, but like I when I was playing and my friends like, you know, Rush Adventure is way better. Which is Pinksley by the way. You guys probably know who Pinksley is. Probably like the goddamn most best Sonic artist on Twitter. Please go follow. Probably link him down. Probably always gonna link him down. Um, God damn it. Yep. Ah, uh, so the tutorial, you just need to press the, the corresponding button. All right. I could keep it on, but mm, I don't want to. Uh, we talked about. Uh, we talked about um, Sonic Rush and. I was playing at like the utmost efficiency during my time playing the game and uh, dumb bosses are very egregious um the one that comes to mind is like the the water serpent motherfucker and he pisses me off like so goddamn much because not only is like it's very unfair with the hit times but it seems like you actively have to get hit and I know certain bosses have like moments where you render a hittable but sometimes you just can't hit them or the way that you have to dodge their attack is so vague that I just mess up and I can't it, it, It's very jarring. Some of these bosses are very unfair and done Woo. I know it's bad Damn Stop clowning me. Stop clowning me We're gonna give it a second shot second shot. There we go I'm gonna put on HD this time. Um, let's see, game options, reback controls, turn that off. We're going back in, fellas. Leap stole. Yeah, but like, and if I have like one stage, like two stages, all right, I'll tell you why Rush has like be pissed off and it's like the end of the game where it gets like very tedious and i feel like i know people are gonna be like skill issue you or you're just bad so altitude limit i've seen a lot of people say that they really like that stage and i sit there and i'm just like there's no way that people actually like altitude limit it has to be like one of the worst stages in my opinion simply because they drop uh those those, those death beam lasers at the bottom of the stage and it's not a skill issue it's literally you fuck up you die and that's it and all i was constantly hearing was wrapped in black every time because i was just completely like just dying or missing the mark on that stage and i was playing good and the funny thing about it is i don't even hate rush entirely i like when i started um i had to get used to the trick system and I was just like, oh my goodness, I can't get used to it. It's, um, I don't know why, but it's, it's not for me. And then later on, I was like, yo, it's actually really good. I, I like the trick system. I, I'm liking the game so far. And then I got to the first boss where, you know, you're supposed to jump over Eggman's, uh, the, the little worm monster. Oh, I got the ring. Uh, we got to jump over the, the monster's head when it like shoots it out. And it like tunnels after you and i'm like oh so you have to use the air dash so you can like you know jump gain extra height with the air dash you boost up like you like dash over it then motherfucker kills me five times in a row the same boss the beginning of the game and i'm just like so am i supposed to double jump or am i supposed to use the air dash because why would you give me a mechanic that i can't use well, that I'm supposed to use in that boss. Or you're just supposed to double jump. And my friends are like, nah, you're supposed to jump. Like, hold the jump button or jump twice. And I'm just like, man. And that was the, the show, The Worst to Come. Because after all of that, um, Egg Bombar or Egg King, as the official name is. Well, I think it's either both. But um, the worst Sonic boss in existence. I'm worse Sonic boss in existence. I'm 
I think I was stuck on that boss for like um like a whole day. Like I was playing it at work. I was playing it at home. I was in my bed getting fumed. I jumped in call. I was playing D&D while playing the Bombara fight. I was doing everything in my power to beat it and it was just bad because like if you mess up a phase quite literally um the game literally uh forces egg king because it's basically made to extend the fight or extend more phases if you mess up a phase so you would have to keep doing the same thing over and over and it's uh it gets worse later later in the fight like i can progress the fight and not get at the beginning which i know it's not a skill issue anymore because it's like i'm playing good and then at the end of the fight they, he starts throwing out those like those electric barrels and then you can barely dodge them it's either it's uh you have to walk in a straight line to avoid god damn it i'm gonna start i'm gonna start over hey it makes the video longer it makes the video longer youtube likes that so uh that boss just no go literally where you you have to walk slowly just to escape the barrel and if you don't walk slowly Oh, I went backwards. You have to do the segment all over again. And I sat there and I'm just like, you know, there's a, a thing called fair and there's a thing called egregious and um, monotonous. Nope, I missed. It's all right. Take it on the chin. Oh my goodness, the drifting is so good. It's so good. Ah, it's so good. If Rush was like this, oh, it would be my favorite fucking game of all time for Sonic. Oh my goodness, you don't understand. Um, but with all the gripes aside, um, I wouldn't say Rush is truly bad. I know it's like you know, stand on business, say that it's bad. Um, I don't truly think it's a bad game. I just think uh, there's a lot of jank and unfairness and a lot of bullshit that gets swept under the rug. And people say it's good, and I'm just like, well, I don't remember Rush being that good. I also remember, like, touching Rush Adventure, but not playing as much because uh, I think the boat section was kind of just, um, for me as a kid, I was like, I'm supposed to be going fast, why am I on a boat? But I'm going to be playing Rush Adventure soon, so maybe I'll have a different opinion on the Rush series afterwards. Um, most of the levels are hit and miss in Rush. It's not that they're truthfully bad except for altitude limit and um i think is it final line or is that where you actually fight um egg Rumbara? it's literally the uh the stage right after which has like the gravity cannon mechanic that shit that shit is just terrible worst shits of all time like you give me mid after mid mid after mid it's just And I noticed that, like, um, you know, Pingsley, he likes the, uh, I believe it's the, the sand, uh, level. It, well, no, he hates the sand level. He's like, that's probably, like, one of the worst stages in Russia, in my opinion. I was like, it's not even that bad. The only thing that makes it, like, fall down in a tier is where they make you do the on-rail water section with the boat, and then they make you walk in 3D, which makes me beg, it begs the question, why wasn't the game in full 3D? If they were gonna give you a section like that, by obviously limitation to the DS, so you know. But then again, they did have Sig All Stars Racing, and that was pretty good, so. And that ran at like 60 FPS. So who knows what they could have done? They could have done this. This is. Props to the team. This has been like one of the most uh, thrilling fan game projects I've played. It's definitely topped in the charts. I can put it alongside Sonic 3D. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, is it? No, Sonic GT. Um, I would say like um, it can go in the list because I have a, like a, a, a couple of fan games on the list of the ones that are reigning supreme. Uh, there's a lot of controversial ones. Uh, I think everyone has probably played Sonic uh, Utopia at one point. Sad to say the creator went rogue, but um, that was pretty decent. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Huh, what is with the... What, 
I know it's a I know it's a fan game, but like Jesus, they ruined the score. I'm I'm not ending the video on a, a, a terrible note. Come on, man. We're gonna get the shit. Uh, I'm just get the line real quick. Get the top row. Right there. Right there. My question is, can you actually... That, that was a section I never got to, so... I'm probably going to have to play more. Because I know there's like a bunch of hidden pathways. I see there's vines in the air. You're probably, if you play like at your maximum best, you can probably get to all those shortcuts. And they're probably definitely rewarding. Alright, we're out of here. Right there, right there. Mm -mm. Boom, 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 right there. The trick system is something that needs to stay in Sonic, so I'm glad, like, it also came back for Frontiers. But after playing Rush, like I said, it opened my eyes to things I really want in Sonic. So even if I think it's, like, terrible, or if I don't like it as much, I do admit like a lot of the things that came out of it were really really nice like blaze for example um the trick system is something that i have to get used to because when you're playing a sonic game when you give me options and extra things to do i'm not really privy to them until you you know you master them so once i mastered the trick system i was like it's like my favorite thing to do nope missed it yeah, i lined it up perfectly too oh mm. Almost had it. Right, oh, right, right, right there. Right, right, right there, right there. Mm -mm, mm, right there. Right, right. No, 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 no. Right, right there, right there, right there. Right. Whew. It's so fun doing those tricks, and then after you uh, propel yourself, you hit the ground, and then you just drip. Mm. The sun. Neurons activate. Don't understand. Don't understand. You don't know how good this feels. I'm not going to hold you all Sonic fans need to play this right now. If you were like, ah, I'm going to hold off, which I did. Don't don't hold off anymore. Play right now. Play right now. This is what Rush could have been. I'm soggy that we didn't get it. I hope this game like gets finished. Like a fan game actually gets finished. But that's hoping for a lot. Cause oh my god. I think I remember playing the first demo of this. Cause what was it? Aquatic Palace? I didn't have any boost. That would have been tragic. And I don't think they had tricks back then, from what I'm remembering, so it's probably why I didn't have that much fun. It was just like I was running around. But who knows? Maybe it wasn't from the same team. Or maybe it was. It's been a hot minute. Alright, we're going up. Slide. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right there. Yes, propelling myself forward. Okay. Right, 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 right there. Right, 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 right there. Right there. Right there. Nope, I'm not dying. Uh, ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Uh. Now that's a score. Yes. Woo! Give me that sweet, sweet juicy A. Demo wrapped up. I've been cooling. I've been danning. You've been ewing. 
I'll catch you guys in the next video. Who knows what it might be? I just know I had a swell time playing this. Who knows? Am I might play it on stream? Maybe even do a drawing video, you know? Maybe something Shadow, Sonic X Shadow Generations related? Who knows what's coming up? I've seen a lot of questions like online about like multiple Sonic games and maybe I want to answer some questions. So who knows? Maybe I might do it. Answering takes on Twitter. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to catch you guys later. Oh yeah, I forgot. And if you haven't, please subscribe because there's more content coming soon. Laters. This is what you need. This is.